five minutes in the future, we'll all be ruled by computers. Badly programmed computers in need of serious debugging. And Dr. Weasel is just the travelling mustelid to sort them out with his sonic mallet. With mediocre help from handbag sales executive Advic Goose. Meanwhile, a trip to the greatest shop in the universe looks like it might turn out to be the worst destination for Dr. Weasel as Mr. Starter's perfidious plans for loyalty card enslavement finally come to light. Is it too late to do anything? And just what has happened to Advic Goose in part 5 of the terrifying customer's journey? Take a seat, Doctor, and enjoy the view. Is not the vista from my observation dome of the supermassive black hole a sight for the ages? Meh, I've seen bigger and closer up. My, you're as difficult to impress as all the legends say. Oh, Dr. Weasel, when I say sit, it wasn't a request. Uh, 47. Consumer Doctor, please sit down or I'll be forced to deploy semi-lethal countermeasures. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my, these sofas are very, very comfy. No, oh, isn't that more civilized? Perhaps a drink. I've been told my security bots whip up a rather fabulous dirty martini. Well, I wouldn't mind a white wine spritz. No, no, what am I saying? I'm here to tell you, Mr. Starter, that your treacherous plans to enslave your shoppers is over. Doctor, as always, you think so small. The customer loyalty implant is far, far too advanced for one interfering little time weasel to do anything about it. That's where you're wrong. I've spoken to some of your staff already, and they're clearly not all following your orders. The revolution has begun, and the only decision left to you, Mr. Starter, is do you want to get out of the way, or go out of the airlock? No, Doctor, such bloodlust in your vengeance. There's little wonder you're known as the ongoing spasm in nine galactic quadrants. Ah, uh, actually, that's more to do with an undercooked Viennusian paella I once had for my loom day, and I've stopped trying to change the subject. You're finished, Mr. Starter. I mean, if you, if you get my meaning... Bravissimo, Doctor. I never fail to be impressed by your impotence in the face of inevitability. You think radicalizing poor deluded Mr. Teflon amounts to instigating a revolution? How perfectly charming. All my assistants have been outfitted with the same loyalty card implants as our loyal customers. Everything he told you. Every word was orchestrated by me. You think you've enjoyed freedom to wander around my little empire to uncover my schemes and then throw them in my face? No, Doctor, you've been little more than my puppet all along. Oh, Roblox. So this was all a trap. A trap which you walked into like the naive, befuddled excuse for the hero that you are. From the moment you landed at shopping tons, you've been in my clutches. It's only now, at the end, that you finally realize it. And even then, you've literally had to explain quite a lot of it. Indeed. You were never the best at paying attention, were you? I don't suppose it's too late to go for that drink now. 47, if you'd oblige. I think a pair of Jovian sunbursts on ice will slide down perfectly. Certainly, Mr. Starter. I will return with them presently. Now, while we wait for our drinks, I guess the only remaining decision is... What shall I do with you? Oh, Doctor, I've spent many a restless night going over what delicious fate will be your final exit from this little game of ours. I've kept you up at night? Ha <laughs> ha! You and half the ladies of the universe, pal! Must you be so base, Doctor? Generally, yes. Look, since this all appears to be pretty much my final curtain, Mr. Starter, would you answer a couple of questions? Certainly, go ahead. What harm could it do? Okay, number one. Just what are you going to do with all these enslaved customers? 
Shoppington's a high-end luxury store with premium clientele. It's not like you have dominated the vast population of the universe. You need to take over Tescoids for that. Oh, Doctor, you forget. The plebeian rabble of the universe always do what their lords and masters tell them to. By ensuring that the elite of the universe are all loyal to Shoppington's. Once I activate the second level of control, they won't just fund my empire. They will do my will. And my will will be law across the cosmos. Oh, that's quite Machiavellingly cunning. I guess then my second question is... Uh, why didn't you take my sonic toothbrush off me? Your sonic toothbrush? Wait, I thought you'd normally use a screwdriver. Alright, that's the door deadlocked. Can't have your bots interfering with our little chat. No, don't bother to get up, Mr. Starter. I've spotted your master control circuit in your desk, and I think with just a flick of the wrist... Ha <laughs> ha! So much for your mind control and robot central command. Doctor, I'm actually impressed. All this time I thought you were in my trap, but it seems it was the other way around. I assume the space police have been alerted... Uh, quite. How fitting. Perhaps then, as my vanquisher, you'll allow me the pleasure of one last electronic cigar. Those things will kill you, you know. They're 5,000 times more deadly than normal tobacco. Indeed, although at this point, what does that matter? What? What? That's not an e-cigar. It's a time weasel photon probe. Ha oh, where did you get that? On Galloway, dear doctor. Oh, your face. If only the security monitors were still working and here I'd frame that image forever. But if you've got time weasel technology, that means you must be. You are a time weasel. Not just any time weasel, doctor. But your arch nemesis. No, not Mr. Jenkins, my academy geography tutor. You fiend! I never needed to know about pyroclastic flows in real life, but you gave me a D! Idiot. No, Doctor. I am the Ratster! Oh! I never would have guessed. Honestly, Doctor, I thought it would have been obvious. Incredibly overcomplex scheme involving mind control. Advanced technology that only our people have ready access to. And my name, Mr. Starter, is a simple anagram. Even a child could have solved. I was never very good at those. I'm more of a Sudoku kind of weasel. I've always liked crosswords myself. Afik, what are you doing here? Oh no, he's enslaved your tiny mind and brought you here to kill me. Oh, the irony. The delicious irony. Now, I'm, I'm, uh, you hold still while I smash this heavy paperweight against your skull. Mind control? Oh, it must be that loyalty card thingy. It uh, broke in the lift on the way up. Well, it was either that or the back of my neck was smoking for no good reason. Of course. When I inactivated the Rasta's control circuit, I must have freed everyone. Ha, 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 ha. What do you think of that, you would-be intergalactic tyrant? Uh, I think he climbed inside his desk drawers while we were talking. Uh, sorry, did you say the rat star? That creature from Rod R7 who put us through all those pantomimes? No, He's escaped again! Groblocks on toast on a frosty Christmas morning! Okay, right, Hadvik. At least we've stopped his nefarious schemes. What schemes? Honestly, if you can't get here on time for the villain to reveal his evil plan, don't expect me to go through them again. Come on, I've a metric ton of kit to pick up for the Weezdis down in the spaceship spares. And probably a lot of confused shop assistants to help out. I guess with no owner, Shoppington's is going to end up being an employee cooperative. How wonderfully progressive. Yeah, looks like Mr. Starter's dictatorship is going to end up becoming a worker's paradise. I didn't see that one coming. Come along, Advic. There's shopping to be done. Will the Doctor ever catch the raster out? Will Advic be able to regrow the feathers over his burn mark? And will Mr. Teflon and Commander Flamingo live happily ever after? We'll never know because the actors who played them held out for too much money. That'll teach them to try and unionize. Collective bargaining? Ha! Huh, not in this production studio. That aside, next time it's a brand new adventure as our travelers face double jeopardy in Doctor Weasel. Doppel Weasel.
for Dr. Weasel's Weasel Tendo with my production, which is my Weasling and Dr. Weasel, Cooking Goose, Advent Goose, Garrett Tribe, Mr. Starter, I am Jerry Rat as the Raster. <laughs> <laughs>